This is a Samsung Galaxy S5. As you can see, we got Super SU on here. However, it won't work. Might as well have put a, a, as soon as it opens up a little flag and it says bang. However, by the end of this video, it should be able to work. Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Um, today, we're going to finally get a chance to root the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, as you know previously, a developer named Chainfire released his CF root tool. However, it only worked on the international versions. Recently, all the cell phone carriers managed to get their sources out. And as of the time of this video is filming, this works on many other providers other than, just, other than just the international versions, including but not limited to both the Exynos and the Snapdragon international versions. The um, I think it's the South African version, the Canadian versions, uh, Metro PCS, US Cellular, Sprint, and T-Mobile. However, if you check the video description, I will have a link to Chainfire CF Root Tool. Say so that way, if you're on another provider, you can always go go give that a check to see if the CF root has been provided for your device. Now, I know this is a little different because with the second uh, S4 root video and the Note 3 root, I showed you all how to do it via recovery. But this time around, we're going to use the CF root tool courtesy of Chainfire. So, want to give a special shout out and thanks to Chainfire for all his hard work and. and Thank you so much for your hard work, it is appreciated. Before we start the root video, I just want to point out something that just as a fair warning and to get this off the bat right now, we're going to call this section Knox and CF Root 101 and how it works. Now as you can see right now, the Knox warranty void counter is set to 0x0, which as you can see this is, you know, a pure phone that hasn't been touched yet. <laughs> by prying hands. What Knox is, is a quick too long didn't read version is that this is Samsung's version of a security system mostly for like like IT at, at your work and all that and the bring your own phone policies. You can think of this as like Samsung's take of Apple and Blackberry security for the phones. When this Knox warranty void trips not only does obviously your warranty become void but Knox is also disabled on your device and cannot be used any longer. The uh, situations that Knox Warranty Void 0x1 would trip is if you install the custom followings like a custom OS, custom recovery, custom kernel, or even if you uh, Odin Flash official Samsung firmware with Knox, it'll still trip the 0x1 counter. Also, for my understanding on how uh, the CF root tool works, is that after you flash it with Odin, then the phone, you know, will do all its magic and go into recovery. What it does is that it makes a temporary custom recovery long enough to install the root and that's it. And then it reverts you back to stock recovery from there, thus giving you a stock experience, you know, stock OS, stock kernel, stock recovery, but with the root. Unfortunately, because of the way the CF root tool works, it's going to trip your 0x1 counter. So, if you're wanting a, a softer root method like Root de la Vega on the Note 3 or something similar to that, then you may want to hold off on rooting your phone right now because this will trip your 0x1. And if you're uncomfortable with that, then my advice to you is to stop watching this video now and you can back out now. No drama. With that being said, though, there are some prerequisites for the root method. Um... Obviously, you will need a Samsung Galaxy S5. Additionally, you will also obviously need the CF root tool for your appropriate carrier and model number, which as you can see up, up there, it says SMG900T, which is the T-Mobile version. Um, just as a fair warning, make sure you check, double check, and triple check when you go and download your CF root tool against your model number and your phone provider because if you flash say US cellular CF root on T-Mobile or vice versa at the very least the uh, root tool will not work 
if not your phone being brick. So make sure that you know you download the T-Mobile version if you're on T-Mobile, the Sprint on Sprint, Exynos International if you're on Exynos, etc, etc, etc. Additionally, you will need the latest Samsung Keys, Java, and Odin. And just as a very, very fair warning, um, your antivirus software will fight with either the Keys and or the Java setup. So make sure that you do disable your antivirus software when you install keys, keys in Java just to be on the safe side. Let's get started with the routing. Now step zero is obviously to um, unlock the bootloader. It's step zero because as far as I know, only AT&T and Verizon locks the bootloaders up. I'm not going to provide an unlock method for this video anyway for several reasons. One, I don't use AT&T and Verizon. Two, even if I did use one or the other, I'd prefer to have, you know, the, both AT&T and Verizon showcased in one video. And I, 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 the real main reason is because that, unfortunately, with a, f with a future OS upgrade from the, from the phone provider, whatever holes that was used to unlock the bootloader previously are not only going to be patched up tight, but the bootloader is going to be relocked up. And of course, the new OS is going to come on all the new phone, on the new models of phones that they sell to you at the stand anyway, or online or whatever. So I think I may have saved myself some uh, negative comments and thumbs downs a few months down the road with people claiming that the unlock method that I may have provided didn't work. So my best advice to you is if you are on AT&T Verizon, is to, you know, search Google or search YouTube or search like XDA developers or Fandroid or something. That way you can um, get a get a good unlock method. Also make sure you do check the timestamps because with the timestamps you'll know what the how long the uh, root method works and when it was released or or not root method, the unlock method, sorry. If it's been, you know, because they will, you know, f eventually find the holes and patch them up. Could be, you know, same day, tomorrow, two days, a week, two weeks, a month, six months. Keep in mind that, as an example, even though T-Mobile doesn't lock the bootloaders, there was the first root exploit that was for um, the Samsung Galaxy S4, but with the um, new OS that they came out like two weeks after the S4's release, that root method was patched up. So you can see how quick that they are when it comes to patching up bootloaders and such like that. So do check the timestamps. If it's been, you know, about two to six weeks, the unlock method should work, but I'm not going to make guarantees. But if but every week that passes, you know, there's a diminished chance that the unlock method isn't going to work. So make sure you do be careful with the timestamps and all that. However, step one is to shut your phone down all the way. Of course, you want to make sure that your phone is charged up at least to 75%. As you can see, it's at 100%, so we're good to go. The next thing you want to do is go into download mode. Um, you push down, push and hold the volume down button. Then you push in the home button. And then you turn the power on. And with enough luck, we will get the nice little disclaimer about the download mode. A custom OS can cause critical problems, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to hit volume, the volume up button to continue. And from here, your phone is prepared for now. So now we got to prepare the computer. I want to make a real quick call out to the... Um when you get your CF root tool, is that it? I just downloaded this, and as you can see, it's in a zip file. What's nice is that Chainfire was nice enough to take your, um, see the guitar file there for your Odin? He was also nice enough to package Odin along with your tarball. So, like in my case, you know, I've already got Odin open over here because I've had Odin on my computer this entire time. So I, needed to, so I only needed to extract the tarball. But just as a fair warning, you only need to install, extract the zip file and that's it. Don't extract the tarball. That's not needed. 
But in any case, of course, step zero is to prep your computer for and prep your computer for the root setup. Again, making sure that the Samsung keys, Java, and latest Odin are all good to go if you haven't already done so. That's why it's step zero, because it, because I have it already set up from previous routings. So the next thing you want to do is, so the first thing you want to do rather is open up Odin or find where you um, navigated to where you extracted Odin, find it, and then open it up. Next thing you want to do is go down to where it says PDA. Find where you extracted Odin and your and or your tarball. It's right there. Then click cl double click your tarball and then it'll open up. Now, as far as the Odin options here, um, you can check auto reboot or not. If it gives you problems, try flashing it again. Uncheck auto reboot, and when it's done flashing your recovery or your um, CF root tool, rather, reboot into recovery manually. But like I said, after you install the the CF root, it should auto reboot your phone and then install root from there. Now, um, this is a very, 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 very fair warning. Right where my mouse button is, or my mouse pointer, don't click that. That is a repartition option. And messing with this option on your phone can cause you problems and headaches. And many of the XDA developers, including Chainfire and Conan, have seen it multiple times where people would mess with the repartition option and it would screw their phones up. So unless you've been instructed personally by an official developer or member of XDA, don't mess with the repartition option in Odin. You have been warned. And the next thing you want to do is come back down to the phone and plug the USB in. There we go. Phone is in and... I guess we're good to go from here. Okay, so with the phone now plugged in with USB, see all the way into the computer, now we're ready to get this little party started. So we're gonna find the mouse pointer where I did with it. Now, just as a very, very fair warning, again, I will repeat that installing CF root will, ins will trip your Knox counter and make it go up and disable Knox and disable your warranty. So if you do want to back out right now, no drama. You can just stop watching the video. And another nagging update thing. So like I said, if you're getting cold feet or getting second thoughts, you can still back out now, no drama. Just close out of Odin, unplug your, unplug your phone, reboot it, keep calm and carry on. And wait for Root de la Vega or some other similar root method that doesn't trip Knox or whatever else if this is paramount to you. Now I will make a quick call out that it is possible to flash you know flash the recovery and then root from there like I did for the S4 and the Note 3. So if you prefer to follow that method just watch my S4 or Note 3 video and instead of you know flashing S4 stuff or Note 3 stuff flash S5 stuff over to it. So in any case, if you're ready to take the plunge into no return, to the point of no return and go past it, welcome aboard. <laughs> Let's hit start and get this shindig going. Succeeded. And recovery. And see, we are. And see how quick that was. Installed your custom. Installed your root. And we're going to reboot now. Now, of course, if. Um, if you know the, the, S, the SU binary installs, but Super SU doesn't come with it. 
of course you can always install Super SU or something from the Google Play Store and go from there. But as you saw at the start, I had Super SU anyway from the beginning, so I'm gonna go down to Super SU. Okay, if you remember from the Note 3 where everybody kept kept getting those annoying pop-ups and all that and slowing the phone down, this is what this message refers to. So we're gonna disable Knox further from here. Knox was successfully disabled. Now, now we're gonna try out a, a root app like Titanium Backup. Come on. And of course, we're gonna always grant root to Titanium Backup. Yeah, the change log. And of course, I still need to set the phone up for that. But in any case, root access is granted. Woo! So with that being said and done, this has been the rooting of the Samsung Galaxy S5 using the CF root tool courtesy of Chain Fire. Thanks again to Chain Fire. Your hard work is appreciated. And as you can see, another successful and happy customer. <laughs> so with that being said, I am Adventure Link. Thanks for watching. I hope you have just as much of a successful route as I did. And I hope you learned something from this video. And what I do appreciate, besides you all watching my video, is of course contributing to Chain Fire because with a very special thanks to Chain Fire, this video would not be possible. And of course you can always give me a rate and subscribe, it's in the video description. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, well wishes, prayers, etc. But no flames fighting, spam baiting, or other such bullcrap. You can always hit me up in the comment section. If you have any questions about mobile devices as a whole, which covers the BlackBerry slash Research and Motion OS, Windows Phone OS, iOS, and Android OS, then head up the XDA Developer Forums or Fandroid Forums since I shouted that out earlier. But just as a fair warning, the community over at XDA is bigger than my now late Grand Marquis, so make sure you search before posting. Most likely, your question has already been posted once, if not multiple times, so again, do search before posting. It will make your experience much more pleasant and enjoyable. The weather's getting pretty wacky this week, so when it's cool outside, stay warm and bundle up. When it's warm outside, stay cool and stay in the shade and eat right, stay healthy, don't catch the flu or viruses and all that. Work hard, have fun, make history. And we're going to close off with a wise word of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy, reminding you guys and gals to be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. Don't let no one push you around, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day.